Hi, my name is Connor Brennan, and today I'm going to tell you why failure is good. Have you ever failed before at any point in your life? I'm sure you have. Did you make the same mistake twice? Probably not, right? That's because failure presents a unique opportunity for us to learn. Have you ever met someone who always thought they were right? That no matter what happened, what you told them, they refused to accept that they were wrong, even if you knew with 100% accuracy that they were wrong? That's because this person has probably never had to deal with failure very much. And so, when they do make a mistake, when they do fail, they don't know how to deal with it, but to reject it. Did you fail a lot as a kid? If not a lot, at least a decent amount? Well, if you failed right now, you probably wouldn't act like you did when you were a child, right? Well, people who have never failed before have never had to learn how to deal with failure, and so oftentimes do act like children when they fail. This is, be this is called a fixed mindset. It's when someone doesn't learn any time from their mistakes. People who never learn from their mistakes, obviously, will not perform nearly as well in the business world. People who have failed plenty of times over the course of many years have learned how to gradually improve themselves after each failure. Each failure is a learning opportunity. But people in the fixed mindset never learn and so never improve and oftentimes don't stay very long in the workforce. Let me tell you a story. When I was a kid, I went to many Taekwondo tournaments. The first few ones I went to I didn't do very well, and in fact, I got a participation award. However, I did not let that keep me down, and I learned from my mistakes, my failures. And as the years went on and I attended more tournaments, I gradually got better, eventually accumulating multiple uh, first, not first place, second place and third place trophies. However, I remember one year, there's a kid who won second place, which is pretty good considering there's 25 to 30 participants. But, this, despite winning second place, they saw it as a failure, a complete failure. Which, for the reason why that, is because they usually always won first place. So even though they didn't win first place, they saw it as a failure now. Because they never learned how to fail, they saw their great success as a failure. If we don't learn how to fail, how to accept it and improve, we see every small mistake we make as a complete failure, overlooking our own success. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure, right, because look, if you do something, right, you will either do it successfully the first time, which, great, good job, or you will fail and you will learn what to do and how to do it then. As long as you're always learning from every mistake you make, Failure is never going to be a roadblock on your, ro on your road to success. Then, success does not become a question of if, but a question of when. In the United States, 1.2 million students drop out every year. But why is this? Well, there are many reasons, but I think one of the biggest contributors to this number is students not knowing how to fail. For instance, say they failed an assignment, a quiz, maybe even a midterm. Because they don't know how to fail, they don't know what to do when they do fail, and they see themselves as failures. But that's not the case. Failing does not make you a failure. If you fail and learn from it, then you will improve. The only time you're a failure is when you fail, refuse to learn anything from it, and then give up. Because these students never learned how to deal with failure, they just see themselves as failures, see that nothing will help it, and give up. I believe that if we teach students how to fail and learn from it to improve, they won't give up so easily, and instead will push on even when they make mistakes, regardless of how small or big they are. I know this was short, but I hope you learned something from this and maybe even do some of your own research in the future. Regardless, thank you for your time and have a good day.